Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is October 12th, Monday of the 28th week in ordinary time. The Gospel said, It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the freeborn through a promise. Now this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren one who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one, than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn woman. For freedom Christ set us free, so stand firm. And do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. Responsorial Psalm Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord, our God? Who looks upon the heavens and the earth below. He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Luke. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it, except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. Reflection It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it. We always ask for a sign. Lord if this is what you want for me, show me a sign. Lord if you are real, heal my son. Lord, if you really love me, show me a sign. Lord, Lord, Lord. We always ask for a sign, something to make us believe that he is real. Who are we to question him? What if God ask us, for a sign? What if, before he can help us, before he can give us what we need, he'll lay out his conditions? What then? That's the end of my reflection. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.